Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Chef with Mel C. Today, I've got some parmesan there. I've got some butter, some parsley, grated garlic, lemon for washing my chicken, paprika, garlic powder, chicken seasoning, all purpose, and some chili flakes. I've also got my chicken here that I'm going to be cleaning up, nicely removing all impurities, and I'm just going to show you how I remove the tail bone from my chicken. Now, this is pretty easy if you've got a um, kitchen share, or even if you haven't got a kitchen share and have a knife, it's pretty easy for you to remove that, and it just helps to butterfly your chicken perfectly well. Okay, so I have removed my tailbone there and I'm just going to be cutting off the end bit of that that I don't want right there and throw it away. If you want to keep that, it's completely up to you. Okay, so I'll be cleaning out all that, cleaning out all the impurities from my chicken here before I start any seasoning process, even before I wash it. So there's excess skin there, so I'm going in and just cutting that away again. I'm going to be cleaning all that yellow bit away off my chicken. Yes, and once I do that, I'm just going to be, yep, yeah, just making sure that all that's gone. Just cutting the breastbone there so it allows my chicken to open up and so it lays flat when I turn it over on the other side. Removing all those impurities there, those bits, you do not want that in your chicken. So you just got to remove that. Yes. On the top there, I've got some excess fatty bit as well. Just cutting that away. Yes, go through there, looking for any feathers that have been left behind and just removing those. I also like to strip those bits off my chicken as well. Yes, just removing all those excess bits and pieces, impurities. And then I'm just going to lemon that down completely. Lemon it down, making sure that I rub my lemon to remove the just that slimy bit on your chicken i mean everyone must have experienced this at some point when cooking chicken you can use lime as well or you can use your vinegar either of those remove it completely so fabulous okay so i'm just using cold water now just to wash that away and i'll be rinsing it about three times just to make sure it's nice and washed so that's nice and clean. I'm just pat drying it now just to remove any excess moisture that is on there. I'm also going to be doing um, my parmesan chicken here today with some thighs as well because that was one of the questions that were asked, some of the questions that were asked in my um, previous video that I made for my story last week. So yes, if I could, if they could also use different parts of the meat and yes you can you can use any part of the meat you want to do this i'm just sprinkling all those seasons that i showed you earlier on and making sure that i rub that in nicely both inside you're turning my meat over making sure that i sprinkle 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 that gold dust yes you want your season your chicken to be well seasoned guys yep if you don't want to add seasoning to yours it's completely up to you but i like to add it everywhere in the crevice the corners everywhere yes i want my chicken to be sucked up with this seasoning so when every bite yes is a delight every bite so i'm just making sure that i put um every there under the skin everywhere excellent And you want to tuck those wings at the back there just to prevent them from burning. So tuck them behind and that's lovely. And look at that. Yes, nice and ready, ready for the oven. Now my oven is preheated at 200 degrees and this will be done in 50 minutes. But for the first 30 minutes, after the first 30 minutes, you're going to make sure that you use the juice to 
moisten your chicken now i'm just going in with my knife there just to pierce some holes in it you know because it's really nice just to make sure that your season gets everywhere my thighs are ready as well and it's about to go in the oven i've stuffed my butter underneath the breast bone as well as the bottom of my chicken there just to make sure it's nice and moist that's ready for the oven here it goes in for as i say so that's the first 30 minutes guys that I've gone and the juice that the chicken look how much juice yes that's great and you want to use that you don't have to have a baster you can use a spoon whatever method you have to make sure as long as you make sure that your chicken get back that juice that is produced yes sprinkle it all over that chicken you want to make sure because that keeps it nice and moist it's going to go in for the final 20 minutes and whilst it's in for the final 20 minutes we're going to get onto that parmesan sauce yes guys okay so i've got my pan here and i'm going in with about a teaspoon of olive oil lovely and i'm going to also be adding my butter now it depends on how much butter you want i've got a whole chicken here plus eight chicken thighs so i'm using about four tablespoons of butter if you want to use less you can use less guy it's because of the amount of chicken that i've got once that's nicely melted i'm going in with my grated fresh garlic lovely and once that is nice and infu ooh, infused in that butter then i'm going to add my freshly chopped parsley And at this point, you want to turn your stove off, okay? And allow this to cool for about a minute and a half to two minutes before you add your parmesan. Because if you add it now, what's going to happen? It's just going to clump up. So you want to make sure that you allow it. So I've turned my um, stove off and I'm just going to allow it. So that's nice and cool. Add in my grated parmesan now. And I'm just going to mix that in nicely. And your sauce is finished, guys. Look at that. And all you want to do now is just take that chicken out of the oven because by now it should be ready and you just want to pour it on guys look at that that chicken can even be had just by itself so beautiful so i'm just adding now my garlic parmesan sauce onto my roasted chicken here and there you go guys all finished in under an hour perfect Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Roasted chicken with garlic parmesan sauce. Thanks again, guys. I will see you in my next video. Ooh, sprinkle that parmesan. Amazing. Bye, guys.